Do you like performance in your video games? Same by the way. So in Path of Exile 2, uh, performance is a little bit rough right now. I thought why not make a quick video and show you how I set up my video games and maybe you can take something away from it. And if you play on older hardware, yeah, it's rough. I know. It actually is, I think, a little bit better now. Okay, to a degree. Oh, uh, to a degree, okay? Listen. It... <laughs> So the best place to test your performance is, of course, not in a town, obviously. And you know why? Because it's not really realistic. You usually aren't in a town for too long in this game, and you don't have this many players on screen usually. Thus, it's kind of not really necessary to check your performance here. Of course, it would give you maybe some interesting information, but clearly my hard drive and my shaders are going whack right now because there is so much like MTX to load, stuff to do. Doesn't really matter. What we care about is inside the area when you kill monsters because that's what you usually do. I'm guessing everyone has started the game before, so Act 1 and right outside is where I will stop right now. This is roughly the performance I usually have in maps. Obviously, as you have more and more monsters and more and more effects, it gets worse. But in general, I think this is like a good starting point. It will go down from here, let's be honest. But right now we can see that my CPU is at 4ms and my GPU is at 9ms. What this matters to you is literally nothing, by the way, because you have to check your device, your hardware, your configuration. For me right now, what's most important is that the shaders and my drive literally don't do anything. They shouldn't be working at all because the shaders should have been finished and my drive is pretty much just waiting for stuff to happen which is great because this is now a really nice baseline you can even see it by the way with f1 you can activate this on the top right you can see that the bar is fairly flat there are some ups and downs you know currently right now i think my network is whack af which is fine we can ignore the network right now but the white line is very thin it's very minimalistic just going uh, slightly up and down if this looks like the mount everest you know going up and down and going all over the place either your shaders haven't finished yet and it's still processing some data maybe you have some crazy back uh, background processes happening turn those off or Maybe your configuration, your hardware configuration is just a bit whack. At the end, it's troubleshooting time. I made a really long video going about how to set up your PC for Path of Exile 2. This is the short version, which brings me to pretty much the most important part. Having the task manager now set to always on top in the settings on the bottom left, I can now focus back on the game itself and it shows I have roughly 90 FPS if the game is in focus. The task manager stays on top so I can actually look at what's happening. And it's very important that the game is in focus. You want to test the game, thus it needs to be in focus. You can't just click in the task manager and as you see it instantly drops the FPS. Why? Because I set it up that way that if it's in a background it uses less power. But Windows also does some, you know, stuff in the background. Good. Game in focus. We check that CPU, GPU, and we check in the task manager. Currently, my CPU is at 16%, so it's clearly not being bottlenecked because it has a lot of room to the top. But my GPU is at 86% and 70 degrees. Don't worry about that. Uh, <laughs> what that means is my bottleneck right now of my PC is not the CPU. It is the GPU. If I wanted more FPS, I needed a better GPU. And this now matters for you. How does it look for you? Is your CPU percentage higher than your GPU? Then either your CPU is being bottlenecked or your GPU isn't fully utilized. So the TLDR is what CPU percentage do you have and what GPU percentage do you have while the game is in focus and currently we aren't even like playing you know literally playing you know we're we're not killing mobs we're not grinding for those divine orbs anyways so currently 
my GPU is the bottleneck. So if I wanted more, so if I wanted the game to look like the way it is right now, and I, but I just wanted better performance, as in more FPS or less FPS drops during heavy load, you know, during lots of enemies and uh, during boss fights and effects, I just would need a better GPU. That's literally the answer there. But if you're like, well, I can maybe lower some stuff. So let's check that out. If you want to do lower some stuff, I have started using Vulkan again. Um, mostly because I have, I don't use Chrome, I use Firefox or LibreWolf for the five people that know what that is. And currently with DirectX 12, while I watch a YouTube video in the background, it literally freezes. It just, it just freezes. You know, the entire video player doesn't like me. So with Vulkan, I didn't have that issue and I had no crashes. None. If you watched my streams, I crashed many times. Or, you know, it freezes, and if you leave it alone, it, like, recovers itself. Um, which, thank God, that exists. But, yeah, Vulcan, it doesn't crash at all. Performance is fairly similar. It might be a tiny little bit worse. But we're talking about, like, 6 to 8 FPS, maybe. Who knows? Moving on. Windowed full screen, probably because you want to tap in and out of the game. Makes sense. Uh, V-Sync, I have adaptive. I think it's the default. I think it's fine. Locked, doesn't really matter. It's such a tiny difference. It doesn't matter. Dynamic resolution, that's totally up to you. Again, if you wanted the game to look worse as stuff is happening, I personally don't want that. I turn it off. If you have that turned off, your FPS will drop hard. It will drop. It drops for me to like the 40 sometimes. So... I could fix that by just having dynamic resolution, which lowers the resolution of the game to keep the FPS high. But again, lower frame rate, uh, sorry, lower resolution will make the game look worse. Thus, I cannot see the on death explosions in this video game. Dear Lord. Anyways, <laughs> nah, I'm just joking. But literally, you know, the lower your uh, the lower your resolution, the less pixels you have to display something the more difficult it is to, you know, see stuff. You know, having glasses, you know, obviously I see worse right now, and now I see better. You know, magic. <laughs> it's not a great example. Moving on, upscale mode, NVIDIA DLSS. If you use an AMD card, I probably recommend FSR. Some older generation cards, I think in my old video when I had a 980 Ti, FSR also, I think, existed because it's uh, way more compatible with all the hardware, you know, bless AMD for that. You could also use NIS and lower it to 77 or 67 percent. So now the game looks objectively worse, but I just gained 20 FPS. So that's, I guess, neat. Um, but for me, I think right now NVIDIA DLSS and quality looks nice. I think at performance and even ultra performance, Certain effects, like, for example, this, can look really strange. Like, it takes away from the lightning zaps. It's a bit strange. So I don't recommend that, but again, you have to set it up so it looks good to you. Sharpness at 20% I think is good. I think that's also the default value. Anything higher, it looks a little bit too too crunchy, you know? Uh, um, I mean, I do like me some cereal, but, you know, I don't want that in my video game. HDR, if you have an HDR monitor, you probably know what the heck that is. I'm not going to explain it. Scene brightness, I personally like it at 1. I cannot recommend playing this game at 2 scene brightness. You will blind yourself. I'm not even joking. If you play an outside area at 2 brightness and you play like a, a flashbang a grenade build, you just... <laughs> Godspeed. Godspeed, uh, and I hope you have uh, a great doctor, a great eye doctor. UI brightness, I think the UI looks totally fine, but if you need it a little bit brighter, you can of course turn that up as well. So next up, texture quality. I have pretty much set everything to default because I have a higher NPC and I like the game looking good. If you're like, yo bro, uh, but I like me some FPS and I'm struggling getting 60 right now, if that's you, Turn off global illumination. Boom, I got just 20 FPS. The game will look drastically worse. It will look worse. I tell you that right now. It's the same with PUE 1. PUE 1 looks gorgeous with global illumination. But if you're just like, yo, I kind of want to play the game and not just, you know, struggle here. Turn global illumination off. That's probably the biggest change in, 
in, in performance that you can gain. The other thing is actually, I think texture quality might, might help you also a little bit if you have very low VRAM. We are blessed with GGG and their team for having a 1.9 gigabyte VRAM usage on a modern title, by the way. This is unheard of, by the way. So, but, you know, I do like me some higher textures. I'm also playing on 4K, so it does, you know, 4 gigabyte it is. But if you're struggling and you have 4 gigabyte, you might want to lower that. Otherwise, I think it, I don't even know if you can start the game with medium texture quality and 4 gigabyte maximum VRAM. I, I don't even know what happened. Ugh. Might explode, you know? Don't don't try it at home, kids. All right, moving on. Uh, texture filtering. Literally, I think it... Uh, 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 do you see the difference right now? I don't see the difference. This is a Gotham meme. Um, we'll leave it at two because I think that's the, uh, that's the normal default. Good. Shadow GI quality. That will absolutely destroy your performance. So, um, I am now at 60 FPS, but the game looks gorgeous on Ultra. It is unbelievable i use it at low it's totally fine right low global illumination looks way better than like having no global global illumination so that's why it's the default uh but of course if you say yo bro i i, I gotta go low and shadows totally fine right set it up the way you want to but i'm just gonna explain it sun shadow quality uh i don't know do you see a difference no yeah i don't know what that does I think in maybe in certain scenes, like in Act 2, right, when there's like strong desert light coming down and everything, maybe that's a little bit of a difference, right? But we're talking about like roughly the average, right? I don't want like, oh, I have good performance in this area and shit performance in this. No, no I kind of want some sort of like base value. And this is, I think, a pretty good base value right now. Because if you don't hit 60 in this scene... I mean, I mean, that's totally up to you, right? If you're fine with 30, that's totally good. So, number of lights. I, weirdly enough, have not noticed a major difference here. Bloom on the other side. Um, yeah, we turned it down to 25. Um, you know, again, I don't need to flashbang myself. Water detail. I think in certain maps, again, this could matter, but it's such a, a tiny thing. Of course, no water is happening right now i think it does look better at high than low that's why i have it at high but it's again it's so tiny it doesn't matter nvidia reflex which is actually just a renamed thing tldr what nvidia reflex i think does is if you go into the nvidia control settings uh, uh, like on the driver level and glo global settings you can set that you prefer maximum performance that's what that is but here it's just on a game-to-game -game basis, right? You can have it on in some games, off in some others. Might save you a little bit of, like, wattage, which, of course, is money. Uh, it's electricity. Um, or you set it on a driver level to just perform, prefer maximum performance all the time, period. Um, this wouldn't matter because I think it actually it should override it, maybe. Either way, on plus boost, if you have NVIDIA, go for it. Uh, foreground FPS cap, 120, 60... I wish I could get 120 FPS. Um, <laughs> I think, to be fair, it did get worse in the latest patches, but TLDR, you can set that up however you want to. You can, for example, some background FPS, maybe it's 15, right? Because if it's in a background and you don't look at it, why does it need to run at 60? For example, totally up to you. Triple buffering, literally noticed nothing there. Literally no difference. Um, no major, at least. Dynamic culling really helps. It really helps with performance during like really heavy things. And it says removing non-essential particles if needed. The problem is it's not even particles. It's literally effects. For example, if I do this and I have this uh, maybe 120, this will turn itself off. These zaps, by the way, they just turn themselves off at really heavy load. So it sucks a little bit. That's why I have it at 30. If you notice that it like removes certain effects which can make it more difficult to you know play the video game because you don't see the effect of the attack you just did you might need to up this a little bit but again this probably might make it worse who knows totally up to you so engine multi-threading if anyone tells you to turn this off Stop watching the videos. Now, okay, this is a little bit too aggressive. But seriously, why the heck would you not use multi-threading 
on a multi-core GPU or multi-thread uh, CPU, sorry, CPU. It makes no sense. Stop turning that off. <laughs> <laughs> Dear God, why? Um, that's the reason why we have multiple threads and cores. Oh my God. Anyways, so performance metrics is just this right here. It's in the game. And that's pretty much it. Oh my God. How did Daniel achieve 120 FPS in Path of Exile 2? Well, here I am from the editing booth, aka my living room. So there is a thing called the NVIDIA Profile Inspector. I completely ignored about that. After downloading and extracting or whatever the heck you do with zip files and then you start the file and then you have a massive list of just stuff. This is pretty much the NVIDIA control panel or NVIDIA control settings just listed without any fancy UI. But there is even more. But there's one more thing. So there is a thing called multi-monitor setup. Something along monitor. I will leave uh, on screen how you can get to it. And this is usually set to single display performance. Most of us don't have a single display. Problem is, NVIDIA always resets this one setting. After every single drive update, you would have to go into your settings, like this NVIDIA profile inspector, and change it to multi-monitor or compatibility mode, depending on your issues. I set it to multi-monitor because I have three different monitors at three different resolutions, which, to be fair, is probably not good either, but whatever. <laughs> Changing the one multi-monitor setting instantly gave me 20 FPS more. Again, this is for my PC on an AMD CPU and NVIDIA GPU, also on multiple monitors. Hope it helps. To summarize, if your CPU reaches 100%, you have a CPU bottleneck. If your GPU reaches 100%, it's a GPU bottleneck. That's it. At that point, you can say, well, let me either lower the resolution and all that jazz in the game. For example, you can also use upscaling to your advantage or have more aggressive upscaling. Or you just look for better hardware. Those are the only two options you have. And if hardware isn't a thing right now because either it's not possible, it's super expensive, you don't want to spend it right now or whatever, then the only thing you can do is either check the settings that I just showed you or accept the way it is. That's, that's sadly it. I hope this quick video somewhat helped you to set up your game. Keep in mind, Path of Exile 2 is not static. It's constantly being updated. I really hope for more performance-related updates in the future. I think they were promised to us in 0.3. I personally didn't notice them. I feel like it actually got kind of worse, especially with Abyss being quite a heavy, quite visually heavy. But in general, it will probably improve, just like how PoE 1 improved over many years. Until then, maybe some of these settings help you. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, subscribe for more hardware unboxed-like videos. And I'll see you next time. Stay hydrated, gamers.